नमस्कार इंडियन फिल्म डायरेक्टर्स एंड टेलीविजन डायरेक्टर्स एसोसिएशन की तरफ से मैं आप सब का स्वागत करता हूं आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस ग्रेट इवेंट ऑफ इफ्टा द सिक्सटींथ मास्टर क्लास अ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट ऑफ अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफ्टा फिफ्टीन मास्टर क्लास इज गॉन The first started with Anand El Rai, was moderated by Sudhir Mishra. Mani Ratnam sir was moderated by Tigma Chudhuria. David Dhawan was moderated by Rumi Jafri. Madhur Bandarkar was moderated by Bharti Pradhan. Ashutosh Gowarikar was moderated by Ravi Rai. Subhash Bhai Sahab was moderated by Satish Kaushik. Sudhir Mishra was moderated by Saurabh Shukla. The Master Gulzar Sahab. was moderated by sudhir mishra rohit shetty was moderated by sudhir mishra mukesh shavla one of the biggest casting directors of the industry was moderated by shri choudhary bhat saab mahesh bhat saab was moderated by ansar mehta farhan akhtar was moderated by sudhir mishra then we had a television master class with late kundan shah pankaj prashar ravi rai raman kumar rajan shahi Arvind Babbal, Swapna Vaghmare Joshi, Satish Shah, which was moderated by me. Then we had Suraj R. Barjatiya, which was moderated by Anupam Kher. We had a music master show, Paralal Bhai of Lakshmi Jan Paralal Duo, which was moderated by Salim Marshan Sir. And today is the 16th master class, friends. Today's master class is being moderated by one of the very leading opinion makers and a brilliant writer who is going to moderate the master class for us i invite on the stage anjum rajabali <laughs> डायरेक्टर के साथ मास्टर क्लास कर रहे हैं वन ऑफ द लीडिंग वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री आई इनवाइट विच आर सुजीत सरकार ऑफ द स्टेज we have with us we thought if freda should felicitate one brilliant great filmmaker who has recently made a very big hit and we at iftira felt that if freda should felicitate that young dynamic filmmaker i will request sujeet and anjum together to present this award to none else than umesh shukla of 102 knockout man when you such a young guy making a film with 102 year old people and 103 year old people this man made a brilliant film god bless you mesh you. would like to speak something yes mike thank you thank you ifta thank you ashok ji thank you anjum ji thank you suchita inka main bahut bada fan hu abhi bhi hu bahut hi achhi filme banate hain jab maine october film dekhi mujhe trial mein bulaya gaya tha main film ke sath इतना जुड़ गया था कि इंटरवल में वहाँ पे काफ़ी स्नैक्स और था मैं खा नहीं पाया था आफ्टर फिल्म गॉट ओवर आई स्किप माई मील ऑल्सो ग्रेट फैन ग्रेट फैन 
बहुत ही बड़ा फैन हूँ इनका और आई एम सो ग्लैड कि मुझे उनके हाथों से ये ट्रॉफी मिला है इट्स लाइक लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट फॉर मी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो वी स्टार्ट आर मास्टर क्लास टू थ्री रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन टू बी टोल्ड टू ऑल ऑफ अस आई कीप ऑन रिपीटिंग एवरी टाइम बट आई हैव टू बिकॉज एवरी टाइम देर आर न्यू स्टूडेंट्स न्यू ऑडियंस वन with the master class uh, first one hour anjum ji will chat with uh, the master director uh, shujit sir then there will be half an hour 45 minutes uh, question answers where you can pose questions to both of them uh, there are two three very important uh, points which i think you should know about it one all your mobiles should be on silent mode because we see at least 10 mobile phones in every master class and we do not return them so all the mobiles should be on silent mode master class ke dauran jab sawal aap puchhenge to usme do sawal bilkul allowed nahi hai aapka telephone number kya hai mobile number aur maine aapke audition diya tha wo audition mein koi job nahi aaya to ye do sawal bilkul allowed nahi hai let us enjoy this moment this great moment where we have two great masters of the industry anjum sahab and shujit ji and take a full advantage of it there is a family of us we are sitting in our drawing room we are uh, sitting all together and enjoying this moment the great moment which iftira has presented to you in 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 front of you within all of us so over to anjum sahab and shujit ji With a big, big. Thanks, Rob. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Ashok. Yes, he's been like a school principal. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, is. Yes. Uh, I also have to begin by complimenting Iftuda. I mean, this is indeed this the series of master classes that they have been organizing, and they've been organizing it so well and so productively. Given the names who have been called, and not just the names, but also the people who are moderating. I mean, they themselves are very accomplished. Sort of people, so my sort of wholehearted and unconditional compliments to Ifteda, and I wish to continue this good work. Also, uh, the awards. I mean, watching 150 films, getting an eminent jury to volunteer their time and effort and attention to this is quite a task. It also says a lot about the credibility and goodwill that this organisation has begun to enjoy, and we're very happy with that. this yes. particularly i was very heartened to see that the script writer award came after the best actor and the best actress which is generally not done i mean the script writer award is usually dispensed with as a technical award oh, yeah. you see with all the rest of the things and then they said now the main award will start so all technicians i mean sound designers editors cinematic directors etc are all sort of dispensed with as if they're dispensable in most of the popular awards until the glamour comes on i mean it's a filmmaking is a collaborative art and that is one of the things that we intend actually to learn from shujit today that he treats it as a collaborative art he treats it as teamwork and he doesn't consider himself a captain of the ship in fact he considers himself a team leader whose job is to draw out the best talent and the individual vision of various creative people as part of the team okay shujit Let's roll. I must admit that I, when you came onto the stage, I was quite struck that this is one of those very rare times that I have witnessed that a person comes onto the stage and gets a standing ovation even before the performance. <laughs> uh, says a lot about how much of affection your work actually has generated amongst these people. Okay, wonderful. Congratulations with Thank that. You. Okay, let's take it a little systematically. I am a screenplay writer, so I'm going to take it like a screenplay. Okay. That first, start building the context, create a certain atmosphere, and then we move into the conflict zones. Right. There, where we figure out your turmoil, your creative challenges. We will come to that. Introduction. I want. I seek from you about your background. What I do know about you, okay, which is uh, fairly available in the public domain, is the fact that you are deeply interested, passionately interested in football. Okay. And in fact, you've gone so far. Perhaps with your tongue in cheek, but so far as to say that, uh, you know, actually between filmmaking and football, if you really look at how deep your love is, it's for football. So I don't know how far that is true. 
You also said that I am a footballer making films. So as if that while playing football you are making films. So I want to know that there is a certain kind of creative connection between the two. And more seriously, let's go to how you began your uh, career in the narrative sort of sector. You were a theatre director, you were a documentary filmmaker, you assisted certain people. Let, can we share uh, some uh, um, sort of observations from you, some experience about how is it that that shaped your entry into cinema, which is our main topic of discussion. Uh, thank you, Anjum. Thank you, Ifrida. Thank you so much. And thank you, all the audience, for coming here. Um, and um, to start with, is, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, the, what you just asked me is also fascinates me that uh, I shouldn't have been sitting here right now. So I shouldn't have been uh, in, in, in direction at all. I mean, you know, it's not written anywhere in my past that I could have been, a, I, sometime I'd become a director. Which, so, is that not what you wanted? Uh, to never. Become? So I, it's direction or filmmaking or film was um, never in my agenda. I didn't know about it, anything about it. I, I don't know anything about art or literature, nothing. I'm basically a sports person and I'm still a sports person. So um, I've, I've played schools, I've played nationals, I've played universities, I've, uh, football is my life. Uh, so you still play? Uh, I still play. I still play plus 45 in the age group. <laughs> so yes, but I still play with the youngsters also, a lot of youngsters. Um, yeah, sports has been my inspiration and through sports I have learned everything whatever I had to. Um, so to start with, I mean, uh, how I came here not being an, a student of art or literature or interested in cinema, uh, it is purely the Indian term I'll use called Jugaad. Okay, will you so, elaborate so, <laughs> so, yeah, so, um, I know it's Indian term, yeah, yeah, but the Jugaad is everywhere, so it's okay. Yeah, no, but can you explain? Yes, explain? I know, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just come how, 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 how I came into this medium, no? So I play for my college, I'm from Delhi, I'm from Bhagat Singh College, I play football. And my father obviously thinks that I'm just going to go to um, become a CA or a, or, a, or um, I'll go to do, do MBA or something or master in computer application, something. So I get admissions and I, I don't do well because I was just playing football all, all day in my college. And uh, I was doing become honors and I also got become honors because I was a sports student. I didn't have the marks for become honors. I was a marks for BCom, but because of sports, I got become honest. So you can understand the jugar there. So, so then, um, all right. So then the story goes on. I go move to third year, and so one day, uh, so there is a uh, there's a hotel in Delhi called Hotel Meridian. I don't know. So it's, it's the mm. first. It started in Delhi. So I one day I get a call from them that uh, we have a football match coming up. And we want you to we want to hire you. Uh, we'll pay you 200 bucks, and you will be uh, also in our uh, what do you call temporary uh, staff list. I said fine. I mean you know, 200 bucks and those 1980, 80, 80, I'm talking about 89, 89, 90. That was quite big for me at that time. Mm -hmm. And I get a call. So I find out what is the reason. The reason is that Hotel Meridian has been playing football with uh, Taj. Uh, Man Singh and they have been lost two years consecutively. So this year it's an ego hurt and they have hired players in a casual as a casual worker and they put me on the uh, like in October you've seen there's a trainee in the hotel. So they put me in one of the trainee as uh, just to show that I am the staff and we play the match and we win. And fine, I get my 200 bucks, I go back home. So then this hotel people decide. Then it's like lots of ego boost happens mm -hmm. and then they decide that no, we should continue this sport and we need good players. So they talk to their HR department and they somehow manage me, what are you doing? I said, I am doing become honest. They give me a job as an account assistant out there to just to play football and in a salary of 1500 rupees. So my father is elated, everybody is happy, that's graduation, before a graduation finished, mm -hmm. I have a job and I start my job as a as an account assistant in Hotel Meridian. And I don't know how many of you know Delhi. Uh, the Hotel Meridian is in near Janpath. 
So far, I have no inclination in cinema or theater, in sports or art, anything at all. This is graduation final year, I can tell you. Yes, I, we could watch films, we could watch uh, some uh, European films because uh, in Delhi there are a lot of embassies which organize a lot of uh, good cinemas from the European world, say Hungarian embassy or the Japanese embassy, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Russian embassy. So there are many embassies there. We watch the films there, but it's never stuck that I'm going to be in this field at all. So, uh, one year of job and obviously in accounts department, apart from debit credit, you don't have to do anything. So, you know, it's so, so boring it can be. Uh, so, from, uh, from Hotel Meridian, uh, uh, near, uh, there is a place called um, uh, Mandi House, which is National School, which is the hub of, uh, you know, Hindi theater in Delhi, which is just a walking distance from Hotel Meridian, Janpat. So, one day casually I'm sitting there, I just walk there. Uh, and just keep walking there and I, I go to a theatre called Kamani Theatre mm -hmm. and I see that there's a big festival going on and uh, there's a play coming up which is called Andha Youth mm -hmm. and by uh, and the performers are Nasiruddin Shah, Om Puri and it was Satyadev Satya Dubey's play and um, one of my friend, he was going to watch this play, he says, Ki, you want to what? come across, I said no, I said, no, no, come, come, chal, dekh ke aate. Uh, so, and obviously I was a little fascinated by Nasruddin Shah because he was, uh, you know, one of our idol actors at that time and, you know, we were really fascinated by his acting and performances. So I just walked in and this is the first play I am watching in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, barring my school amateur plays, this is the first proscenium theatre proper play I am watching. And I'm dumbfound there after the play and I'm just, I'm just really shocked. And there was a next show after the afternoon show because I came during the lunch time. And I, can I asked him, can I stay back? So he said, no, I mean, there is all the tickets and flux. Somehow we managed and I watched the second show also. After watching the second show, the walk back from Kamani Theatre to my hotel Meridian, I think that changed the world. That changed, something happened inside me. It completely shook me, you know, uh, by the, the by the form, by the art. I don't know. I can't explain in words what happened to me, by by the uh, uh, the the depth of the uh, the play, uh, the performance, and it it the, the impact it had in me. And since then, I've been writing debit credit, but my mind was not there. Mm -hmm. So. I don't, and every uh, afternoon I'll go walk to Mandi House, I'll see what happens. If you know Mandi House, it is exactly like a, like a Prithvi theatre. But there are many groups who are performing all over the place. It's like a small groups somewhere in the garden, you see somebody shouting, somebody is doing something on Mahabharata, somebody is doing a modern play, somebody is doing an European play. Something is happening all over Mandi House. And uh, uh, so I keep going there. And one day I keep my mind straight, I'll have to... I have to do something and I should do something. I said, I, I don't know what to do. So I walk in. So I meet a guy uh, who's with a jhola and I think, who is this funny guy, a bizarre guy? Should I talk to him? His name is Gajraj Rao. So I don't know how many of you, he's one of the finest actors we have also. So I met him. I said, what do you do? I said, I work in a hotel. So he said, what do you do here? I said, no, I can do something. So he was in a hurry. So he said, come on. So I said, I said, okay, I go. So I go down to, uh, there is a theatre called Shriram uh, Theatre there. There's a small basement like this, uh, and I go there. I see hustle bustle of people, and there's, a, there's an evening play coming up. And there's a director named, who is my, still my mentor and my everything. He's Mr. N.K. Sharma. Uh, he's known as Pandit Ji from there. A group called Act One. Act One. And I go down, I see at one corner, Manoj Vajpayee doing something, you know. I don't know what is he doing, but he's doing something. Silently, he's doing you know, some method acting. He's doing that. Uh, I had no idea, you know. So, and on the other side, I go. I see. Um, I think it was Piyush Mishra. So, I think I, I, I saw him. Then there is one very famous director, uh, television director, uh, Arvind Babbal. I also see him, you know, uh, sitting somewhere. So, I go there and I see few uh, youngsters are trying to put up a set. Uh, my father used to be in Air Force and he was in the missile squad and sometimes he used to be in the carpentry also in the Air Force. I was very good, car I'm, a, I'm a very good carpenter. So I see them doing something fixing on the, on, on the stage. 
and so I go and request that uh, Mr. N K Sharma ki main, can I put this? Can I because five six guys were putting a skirting because in theatre me skirting lagana hota hai you know stage pe. So there were five six guys were just so I said yes I can. So I took them some nails and you know this and he said give me my killer kar dunga. So in few minutes because I am a carpenter I do it. So the director comes and he sees that he says no this is fine. Uh, so you didn't see it. No, I didn't. So play. I watch. I sit there. Play gets over. So every day you have to take off the set and you have to put back the set the next day. And then they say, uh, my the N K Sharma says, "Ki tum kya karte ho? Ye karte ho." So he says, "Ki tum kal bhi aoge?" I said, "Ha, tum ye laga doge?" I said, "Ha, laga doge." So here starts my theatre journey, the second my milestone in my life where I start my theatre journey. आपने तो काम किया डिड यू एक्चुअली गो टूवर्ड्स डिरेक्शन मतलब assisted uh, nk sharma oh, sure. uh, so uh, that happened and then for f- for one play i think blood brothers i assisted barry john i think uh, blood brothers i think it was uh, manoj vajpayee was there and piyush mishra also was oh, did the music yeah. so in that play with barry john i was there assisting him uh, it was a collaboration and then from there paise nahi hote the mm. so ek bhi uh, uh, theater mein paise ke liye taraste the because chhod diya tha to aur chhod diya tha aapne नौकरी छोड़ी Uh, put that money in the theater, so in the you know, to run the group. Uh, so we used to earn money there. So that's how I started doing documentaries and my exposure to documentary filmmakers. One of my mentor in uh, in documentary filmmaking is Deepak Roy, uh, and uh, uh, he's in Delhi. Me, he's in Delhi. Me, sir. So you, you, documentary film, me, only money to earn. Absolutely, money to earn. But slowly, when I was started working on documentary filmmakers, क्या होता है कि at that age, when you are eighteen, when you when you are twenty, twenty one, there is a some kind of a uh, some kind of a revolution which is inside you, yeah. and you don't know where to take it out. Uh, this I realized later. You know, there is there is a lot of things going on inside you. Uh, there is a lot of uh, you know socially, you start becoming aware, and a lot of things. Uh, um there's a lot of debate which goes inside you you want to take them out so i think theater is i found is one of the most uh, one of the most revolutionary medium mm. where you can speak you can talk you can do whatever is there inside you and uh, that's how i got interested in 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 theater and that was my passion i still miss theater mm. but and now i am into films but this is also a great medium so the it's interesting baat ye hai कि आप कह रहे हो कि एज अ पर्सन मतलब एक एक नागरिक की हैसियत से जो आपके अंदर जो एक एक सर मंथन जो चल रहा था एक टमोल कश्मकश होती है एक रेवोल्यूशनरी फीलिंग आती है पैशन होता है कि आपका जो सामाजिक और पॉलिटिकल जो एनवायरनमेंट है उसके प्रति एक रिस्पांस आपका आता है आई वॉन्ट टू डिवेलप दिस थीम फर्दर थोड़ा आगे जाके क्योंकि अगर हम देखते हैं कि यहाँ उसके बाद विकी डोनर फिर पिंक पिको और अभी अक्टूबर ये आपके जो चॉइसेस जो रहे हैं बड़े अनयूजुअल रहे हैं अनडाउटेडली right, right. और आप विकी डोनर से ही एकदम सक्सेसफुल बन गए थे तो जैसे आई एम श्योर यू हैड एक्सेस टू डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट्स सक्सेसफुल बना दिया गया मैंने सोचा नहीं था सक्सेसफुल होऊंगा पर बन गए क्योंकि काम अच्छा किया आपने और ऑब्वियसली सक्सेस फॉलोड मैं ये चाहता हूं कि यू एज अ सिटीजन एंड यू एज अ फिल्म मेकर व्हाट इज द कोरिलेशन बिटवीन द टू अम आप बताइए थोड़ा हिंदी में भी बोलिए आई थिंक आई थिंक 
uh, as a citizen, as a citizen means as a person of this, Ji. Uh, as a, the person I am and also as a citizen of this country. I mean, mm. uh, as soon as you uh, uh, start making a film and you become a part of a film making organization and you say and a lot of people are going to watch your film, you automatically become socially responsible. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's a label which is there that you have to be socially responsible. Mm -hmm. Now there are many ways and subjective thoughts towards what is social responsibility, Ji. which can be derived from whatever films I have made. Mm -hmm. So there is no way that I, me, Sujit Sarkar, and Ji. as a citizen, and me, my films can be separated. I think they are all same. If through my films mm -hmm. you don't, if you don't know me, mm -hmm. what kind of person that person is? What is his social beliefs? Ji. What is his what is his stance in terms of his, uh, which could be uh, socially relevant or non socially relevant, whatever. I think through his films, uske film ke through he, aap usko jaan sakte hain. Or mere ko lagta hai ki cinema jo hai ek director ka jo andar chal raha hai, uska hi ek ek parchai hai. Hmm. If you don't see that, then there is something wrong in the middle. There is a gap. Hmm. So I I strongly feel that. For example. Ji. I feel यहाँ जैसे पहला फिल्म था जैसे मैं डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म कर रहा था तो मुझे एक during the that during that time in ninety two एक कश्मीर पे डॉक्यूमेंट्री करने का मुझे as an assistant director का काम मिला I went to Kashmir in ninety two eighty nine I think is the first when the first grenade गिरा था वहाँ पे लाल चौक में it eighty nine in Kashmir में तीन साल के बाद I was going there at that time I think Hazrat Bal was already uh, not in terms of Hazrat Bal was completely uh, captured. Uh, Charare Shahif, Chari, I don't know if you know what Charare Shahif just yeah. had happened there. And in that turmoil, I go to Kashmir mm -hmm. for doing a, for making a, for documentary and for my for one of my uh, director from Doordarshan. Mm -hmm. Now the director got really scared when he went there. He said, "Main wah shoot karne nahi jaunga." Mm -hmm. So he gave the camera to me and my cameraman. Mm -hmm. Just see, and you know how, and it's it's like an opportunity that I lapped, I got it, and I went there and shot the documentary. That was for National Geography, one of the documentaries. It was purely on the monuments. Uh, it was nothing to do with the political politics of that time, but obviously the politics did affect. So during that time, when I was coming back from Kashmir, uh, in one of the newspapers, I read one this small article which I always spoke about. <laughs> About a uh, about uh, a love happening between an, an army guy mm. and a Kashmiri woman. Mm. So this army guy ka uh, curfew duty tha. Lal Chowk apne dekha hai ki nahi malum nahi. Lal Chowk is completely is like a barricaded place. Agar wahan sab log ghar band kar denge to kahi jaane ka rasta nahi hota hai. So ek jo jawan hai wahan duty kar raha tha. Uski roj duty rakhti thi. Raat matlab raat ko shaam ko panch baje se subeh panch baje tak curfew. So koi nahi move kar sakta hai. तो उसको टॉयलेट के लिए कहीं जाना होता है अब वो कहाँ जाएगा टॉयलेट के लिए तो ही विल नॉक द वन ऑफ द हाउसेस ऑन द डोर वन ऑफ द हाउसेस तो वो अलाउ करते थे उसको टॉयलेट करने के लिए बाहर रहने के लिए तो वहीं से उन्होंने कहा है कि मेरे लिए एक चाय भी बना दो सो सो तो उस घर से चाय बनाते थे तो एक दिन उस घर का जो आदमी नहीं था सो तो खिड़की ऐसे खुलता था वहाँ से एक जस्ट एक एक किसी लड़की का हाथ ऐसे आता था चारे का स्टील का एक ग्लास और वो जवान लेता था और उस जवान को उस हाथ से प्यार हो गया दिस वॉज अ स्टोरी एंड देन मेजर हेल्प देम टू इलोप उनको देसेट की द गर्ल कैन नॉट स्टे हियर इनको यहां से जाना पड़ेगा अदरवाइज इस शहर में रह नहीं पाएगी एंड आर्मी में बोला कि यू विल बी ऑलवेज थ्रेटेंड सो उन दोनों को निकाल के वहां से मेजर ने हेल्प किया और निकाल दिया टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड इट वॉज सो अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट द जवान डाइड इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट so this was a story in one of the newspapers and i picked it up and i and i made this film yeah so that was the inspiration for me. uh piku ke liye bhi aapne jo pucha main bata deta hu piku har ghar ki kahani hai so mera bhi yahi tha sabke ghar ki kahani hai so i think every household story isme kuch batane ki zarurat hi nahi hai har ghar mein sabko malum hai kya hota hai usko leke to ye main puch raha tha ke wiki donor jo aapne बनाया और थोड़ा सा आई थिंक एक अरसा था बिटवीन यहाँ एंड विकी डोनर इट टू बिट ऑफ टाइम एंड अनयूजुअल 
कहानी थी आई मीन हमने कभी हीरो को इस नजरिए से देखा नहीं है कि भाई इज ऑल्सो स्पर्म डोनर और प्लस एक बॉडीली फंक्शन की हम बात करें इट्स परफेक्टली लेजिटिमेट है बिल्कुल कि भाई आप जिनको इनफर्टिलिटी हो या जहाँ द मैन स्टराइल तो यस डोनेशन से क्यों नहीं हो सकता जरूर होना चाहिए भैया सबकी ख्वाहिश पूरी होनी चाहिए बट द फैक्ट इज दैट इट स्टिल फील्स वेरी ऑकवर्ड यस बराबर कि भैया कोई एक कमरे में जाके एक स्पर्म प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है फिर वो स्पर्म को आप किसी औरत के शरीर में इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हो लेकिन एक एस्थेटिक तरीके से आपने इसको जो हैंडल किया दैट वॉज दैट वॉज आई वॉट आई फाउंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एस्थेटिक्स ऑफ द नरेटिव एक ब्रेक थ्रू उसके अंदर था कि ये टॉपिक से आप मुकर नहीं गए यू टुक इट हेड ऑन वो जो अनिल कपूर अनु कपूर का जो कैरेक्टर है वो समझाता भी है काफी ग्राफिकली समझा रहा है ये है ये वुमन का ऑर्गन यहाँ से ये प्रवेश करता है सो यू मेड इट एक्चुअली नॉन वर्गर नॉन ऑकवर्ड नॉन एम्बेसिंग टॉक टू मी अबाउट दिस वाई वॉज दिस टॉपिक चोजन एंड हाउ इज इट दैट यू अप्रोच इट इन सच इट गॉट इन टू द मेन स्ट्रीम स्पेस आर्ट फिल्म कि हाँ भैया वो वो उस किस्म की फिल्म है फैमिली के साथ नहीं देख सकते या दैट सरप्राइज मी मुझे भी यू नो दैट आई डेंट एक्सपेक्ट दैट फैमिलीज विल गो टुगेदर एंड 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 वॉच द फिल्म एंड सी आई वाज डूइंग अ फिल्म आफ्टर यहाँ कॉल्ड शू बाइट आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हर्ट वो फिल्म रिलीज नहीं हुई वेन एवर इट रिलीज सो आई वाज कोई डिप्रेस एंड डिसहार्ट फॉर सेवन ईयर्स नथिंग हैज रिलीज एंड अ लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क गोज इन टू फिल्म एनी so uh, my wife uh, told me you know how to make a film go make a film why are you sitting at home and you know cribbing so one fine evening uh, my dear friend and also a uh, writer of, of uh, wiki donor juin chaturvedi calls me up and narrates me about a story about that how about a story about a sperm donor and a doctor i didn't know how to react to her in that evening बिकॉज यू नो मुझे लग रहा कि शायद वो मजाक कर रही है वॉट एवर शी सेंग एंड आई आउट ऑफ हर हेड और ऐसे जी आई टॉक टू टू माई मॉर्निंग एंड आई कीप द फोन डाउन एंड बिलीव मी आई इमीजिएटली आई गो टू द नेट एंड आई स्टार्ट सर्चिंग एंटायर नाइट आई डेंट स्लीप द एंटायर नाइट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ फिल्म एंड आई केप्ट ऑन रीडिंग अबाउट दैट एंड एंड आई केप्ट लाफिंग आई जस्ट केप्ट लाफिंग इफ दिस आइडिया वुड हैव बीन गिवन टू मी बाय मेल राइटर आई वुड हैव rejected outrightly i can tell you it was just given to me by a, 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 a woman writer mm-hmm. and it was also juhi uh, her sensibilities i knew so it struck me be something is there possibly ki mere liye kuch karne ke liye and the next morning i called and i saw that you know it's very difficult to see a film through mm-hmm. agar aap pure film ko jab shuru karte hain ek idea aata hai mm-hmm. wo film banegi ki ya nahi banegi aapko koi idea nahi hota hai mm-hmm. you can jump into that world उस दुनिया में एंड देन यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग एंड स्टार्ट पुटिंग इट ऑल टुगेदर बहुत देर बाद आपको समझ में आता है कि फिल्म ये बन सकती है या नहीं बन सकती है लेकिन इस फिल्म फिल्म में जर्नी स्टार्टेड एज यू आस्क मी नाउ जम्पिंग जम्पिंग दैट i restricted myself when we were absolutely on the thin edge of mm. not going uh, like for example when i read the story to couple of studios at that time uh, they thought seven years sujit ka koi film release nahi hua he is trying to make a slapstick film koi comedy bana raha hai secret and he will just make it out so that's how they thought mm. but mai unko samjhate samjhate thak gaya tha because after point you cannot explain a film mm. you can't give in after after a point you'll have to show it to them mm. i am also an ad filmmaker so i made a lot of ads and bahut sare humne usme you know um, ads bana ke paise ikatthe kiye and ikatthe karke we thought of producing that film myself only me and my friend ronnie mm. and we thought let's make the film and then we'll see where it goes mm. the point that आपने कहा कि अनु कपूर सब कुछ इतना ग्राफिकली उसको एक्सप्लेन करता है मेरा लर्निंग ये रहा है कि अगर कोई फिल्म का कैरेक्टर है अगर एक भी परसेंट उस कैरेक्टर में आपने उसकी इंटीग्रिटी को उस कैरेक्टर का जो इंटीग्रिटी है फॉर एग्जांपल अनु कपूर अनु कपूर एक प्रॉपर एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर है सो हिज लैंग्वेज द वे ही स्पीक्स एक भी उन्होंने अगर आपने उसका पूरा लॉजिक देखेंगे पूरे फिल्म में उसकी जो कॉन्वर्सेशन देखेंगे कहीं भी उसने एक गलत बात 
towards medical nahi kiya usne because he's a doctor yes his character like that he is he is from daryaganj delhi old delhi he is like a little you know uh, uh, you know apne baaton se khel ke kisi ko convince karta hai that's different but he is a proper doctor whatever he spoke was so genuine legitimate as a doctor i think that was the point i took second point even that you ask ki this film itna edge pe tha ki uh it could have gone wrong any at any moment mm. because we are dealing with such a sensitive sensitive issue it could have been quite unhygienic also in terms of to look at so we made sure from clothes from costumes from people from dialogues mm. uh from what they say what they talk what they behave that everything parameters stick mark is hygienic mm. for example yeah. i'll give you one very important scene i didn't tell ayushman that you will have to go to the cabin with that container wo jo to the day shooting karne ja raha hu main us container ke sath so ashwin se dada aapne kaha tha ye shoot nahi karenge aapne to ye aap ye scene mein to mera kya hoga you know so i said ayushman dekh i am going to try main shoot karta hu agar tere ko nahi humko nahi acha lagega main khud hi nikal dunga to mujhe karna kya hai maine bola so i placed a camera on the top top at the corner आई से देख मेरे को भी नहीं मालूम क्या करना है सो बोलते मैं क्या करूं तो आई सेड एंड आल्सो व्हाट आई डिड आई डिडंट लेट हिम एंटर द रूम जो रूम होता है ना सो वहां नहीं एंटर करने दिया सो इट ऑल केम लिटिल इंप्रोवाइजेशंस आउट देयर सो आई सेड वहां कैमरा होगा और कोई नहीं होगा तू अकेला हो तो देख ले तू क्या कर सकता है पर एक बात कहूं और ये मैं चाहता था कि सुजीत जी को से ही अपन सुने वो ये कि आप अगर विकी डोनर देखें अगेन इट्स अ टू पुट इट प्लेनली बॉडीली फंक्शन को लेके ओके ह्यूमन बॉडी को लेके ये फिल्म बनी गई बनाई गई एक तरफ से देखा जाए तो ऑफ कोर्स इट्स स्टोरी ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स ऑफ फीलिंग्स ऑफ लव इमोशन एक्सेट्रा बट जो एक्शन प्लॉट जो है वो आप ये बॉडीली फंक्शन के जरूर infertility etc number 2 you look at the case of pico second collaboration between you and juri again bodily function ke bhaiya usko constipation ho raha hai and all he does is wants to clear his bowels aur wo satisfaction usko mil nahi raha hai aur usko leke wo bechara pareshan hai aur wo pareshani phir us beti ko bhi pareshan kar deta hai matlab you take the third one which is comatose she only goes into coma the whole thing in fact is completely about bodily functions based on that एंड येट दो चीजें मैं कहना चाहूंगा इसके अंदर और अभी आगे आपसे पूछना चाहूंगा एक जो कहना यह चाहूंगा कि ये ये जो फंक्शन है जो आम तौर से अगर कोई किसी को कहे कि भैया फिल्म बनानी है और स्पर्म डोर होती है तो कहानी कहां से निकल सकती है और फिल्म स्टोरी ऑन कॉन्स्टिपेशन तो अभी इसके ऊपर कोई कहानी थोड़ी बनाता है और कोमा पर्सन कोमा का मतलब तो पूरा पैसे भी हो गया ना तो कैसे बच सकते बट आप जो करते हो कि इस 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 एक्शन प्लॉट का को आप एक डिवाइस की तरह इस्तेमाल करके अगर ऐसा कुछ हो गया तो रिश्तों के ऊपर क्या असर होता है दिस कनेक्शन इज व्हाट इन्वॉल्व्स अस एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच वी बिकम फेमिलियर विद दिस टू सो एक ये हो रहा है मुझे ये लग रहा है कि जो जूही का जो एक स्ट्रक्चर जो चलता है उसके ऊपर मैं चाहूंगा आप थोड़ी सी रोशनी डाले कि एक्शन प्लॉट तो इज प्योरली बेस्ड ऑन दैट प्रॉब्लम स्पर्म डोनेशन ऑन कॉन्स्टिपेशन ऑन कोमा लेकिन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट एक्शन प्लॉट जो एक अंदर का जो इमोशनल लेयर कैरेक्टर का जो लेयर निकलता है वो खूबसूरती आपकी फिल्म की वहां से आती है तो नो वन कैन से इट्स अ फिल्म अबाउट कॉन्स्टिपेशन नो इट इज अ फिल्म अबाउट अ फादर डॉटर रिलेशनशिप ऑफ अ फादर हु एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट कॉन्स्टिपेशन यू आर ऑल्सो सिम्बॉलिकली शोइंग टू अस हाउ ही एज एबिलिटी के वो पकड़ के रखता है इन वन सेंस बाउल्स को भी कॉन्स्टिपेशन का मतलब क्या यू नॉट लेटिंग गो तो उसी प्रकार से वो रिश्ते में भी is not letting go of that daughter and aapko focus uske andar jata hai you are using this merely to trigger off the conflict in the emotional space am i right in yeah, my assessment about this acha dusri baat to main keh raha tha kehna chahunga ki in character ki jo inhone abhi jo udaharan jo diya ke annu kapoor's character abhi annu kapoor ko ye sari baatein bolni hai wo bolne mein thoda sa it look and look unhygienic inesthetic awkward vulgar embarrassing family audience etc dhyan 
एंड यट द कैरेक्टर बिकम सो क्रेडिबल क्योंकि उन लोग उसको जिस सॉइल में डालते हैं इट अपियर्स लाइक अ वेरी रियल पर्सन ये वो रियल डॉक्टर है ओके फिर वो दाई और वो लोग भी उनके दाजी वगैरह जो बैठे हैं इट्स वेरी रूटेड कल्चरली ऑल हिज फिल्म इफ यू सी इंक्लूडिंग यहाँ तो मैं तो ये कहूंगा कि जूही का इसके अंदर हाथ जरूर है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ में आपकी भी एक जो एनकरेजमेंट जो उसके अंदर आती होगी कि दैट इज ऑल्सो योर अप्रोच एंड दैट इज ऑल्सो जूही अब नाउ यू टॉक टू मी अबाउट द कोलेबरेशन एंड टेल मी About choice of topic, why is it that you would want? Why are you so attracted towards these things? Okay, this trilogy of yours. I've, and then let's talk about how you work, writer and director. If you ask me, though, for this trilogy, uh, all this, uh, all the, the three films that you talked about, Sperm Donation or the Piku, which is deals with the father daughter. Uh, well, it's a father daughter, and we started with a constipation, constipated father. How? But the st- was basic story when we started was, what happens when a in a cosmopolitan city. i mean a lot of women are there they are working nowadays or a lot of men are also there so they are all working men and at home back home there is an elderly couple or elderly mother father parents who are there and even if they are sitting here or even they are working at somewhere down the line their back space of a head is at home yeah. because there is one elderly mother father or grandfather grand whoever mm. somebody you are attached to is there you cannot leave them mm. so पीकू का जो मेन था इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस आई सॉ स्पेशली फ्रॉम मी एंड माई आई सॉ माई वाइफ टेकिंग केयर ऑफ हर मदर एंड शी वन डे ऐसे ही बिकॉज हर मदर वॉज ऑल्सो क्रिएटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ इशूज एंड दिस एंड दैट सो शी सो समबडी आंस वन ऑफ हर अंकल आंस की वाई डू यू ऑलवेज सो शी आंसर समथिंग एंड आई पिक टू टप एंड आई टोल्ड जू ही वट माई वाइफ सेट कि आदमी जब बूढ़ा हो जाता है तब उनको जिंदा रखना पड़ता है वो अपने आप जिंदा नहीं रहते हैं अपने आप जिंदा नहीं रहते हैं। so, उन्होंने माई वाइफ जस्ट थ्रू दिस लाइन जस्ट लाइक दैट बातें करते करते शी वॉज एक्सपीरियंस शी वॉज केयर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एंड आई पिक्ट इट एंड आई स्टेट आई थिंक दिस इज द क्रक्स ऑफ आर फिल्म that a father needs टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ एज ओल्ड वॉट एवर इट इज दैट्स वाई ऑल हिज फादर्स लॉजिक are funny but they are so true i took care of you when we were kid now you take care of me i am old yeah. now i am a kid he says on the dining table yeah. because it is him in his insecurity that at age i think when we all go we will go through the same thing it is that that they go through constipation was just a forefront of his problem yeah i was not dealing constipation on that film but that man is so mad about constipation that he speaks always on constipation so so it was just like that but the story or the background of the film was purely on the relationship for example in the komato story and this and this one uh okay i'll give you one more before i come to komato i'll give you one more in wiki donor there is a bg and there's uh, dolly ji bg sorry uh, bg and dolly ji so like dolly ji uh, bg was a lot uh, uh, i thought she was really a modern woman मुझे लगा था कि शी इज वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव जो बीजी वो कुछ भी बोल देती है किसी के लिए भी और शाम को दोनों बैठ के शराब पीते हैं बैठ के आराम से शराब पीते हैं और सब भूल जाते हैं एक दूसरे बात करते हैं नो आई टेल यू हाउ दिस कैसे ही आया जी सो ड्यूरिंग माई थिएटर डेज इन डेली मी एंड गजराज राव एंड पीयूष मिश्रा वी टू ड्रिंक एट माई टेरिस टू स्लीव इन वेरी स्मॉल प्लेस my father was not well he was suffering suffering and my mother used to take care of my father and he was not she she was not sleeping properly so one day i come down and she said mera raat ko bhi neend nahi aaya ye nahi aaya so i just offer her ki maine bola mother thoda sa whiskey you want to try she said no 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 baba dekh mera your father is going to just and i said he is sleeping now so told her okay give me give me a steel glass okay i said i'll give you a steel glass <laughs> so i give her a drink on a steel glass and i'll tell you how i've used that same thing in the film also i st- i'll give her a steel glass and she drinks and i also go and sleep i come down around 10 o'clock i come down and she she looks at me and says it ki go much i slept ha i slept very well i said very good since that day every day she is go when are you coming back home <laughs> so you know my father used to really get angry on me and i i used to tell my father it's okay she is not a you know 
she's not a drunkard she just has one small and she sleeps well it's okay i mean and it's, it's okay let her do it what's your problem exactly the same thing i told you this is the way i done it to my mom i said okay fine she said okay let's put this in the film exactly uh, same explanation uh, aishman gives because his wife asks ki what kind of family is this she's a bong and conservative family yahan dono baith ke shaab pite raat ko ye kya hai family and she asked the first thing on their honeymoon night uh, to aishman and she he answers the same thing so it's all these are all reflections of society that or around me what i have seen and even jui has seen mm-hmm. jui is from lucknow mm-hmm. and she's also have gone through a lot in her life her grandfather was exactly like bhaskar bhaskar mm-hmm. i am also a lot of bhaskar so that's don't mind <laughs> uh, her father is like that she is now living with her father so it's all very normal in our family that every day she's a mother she's a wife and she's also taking care of her, her work she works she writes scripts i don't know how she does it mm-hmm. you know so um so these are and we when we making a script mai aur juhi hum bekar ki baatein zyada karte hain script ki baatein kam karte hain we talk anything around this world kiska khana banaya hai kya nahi banaya hai bhai aaye ki nahi nahi aaye hain what the problem we talk on all absurd issues mm-hmm. and somewhere something comes out mm-hmm. and we pick it up and we start moving on so that's all in terms of the uh, the comatos uh, for example october the complete hotel experience was my meridian hotel ah, uh, i worked in a hotel meridian and they also know me so i knew the background because i was the assistant there anyway but what happens inside an icu hmm. what happens inside when somebody is comatos uh, i was shooting in 2000 um, something around 2003 2000 oh, yeah but i get a call from uh, from delhi my mother has been admitted to a hospital mm. and i rush and before i reach uh, delhi uh, they have put my mother in a ventilator oh. so now this kuch hota hai to you know, they put the in a ventilator so i thought ventilator se aaj she'll come out tomorrow chura. so my mother goes into a comatos for three and a half months she is in comatos so me and mother my mother obviously like all other children and mother we had a very good relationship but there are many things which i could not I wanted to say, but no one could bowl me. And just one day she came out of the comatose. One day she came out. Doctor said, "Okay, she's fine." But then doctor said, "Okay, these are very, you know, sporadic, you know, um, sparks." And then she next day again went back to coma. So two and a half months she was in uh, women's, and I used to go. Ten minutes only, meet her. So I didn't know what to do. Like Dan, what you see, I didn't know what to do. So one day I'll just talk to her. then i figured out a device let me just keep talking to her so at that time you have you'd have nothing to lose your world is completely closed bahar diwali ho raha hai new year ho raha hai you have nothing because you become hospital world is different world i who are experienced they'll only know what it means to be in hospital world so three and a half months i just talked to her and talked to her and talked to her mm-hmm. unfortunately she i could not revive her she passed away three and a half months comatose so all and what i make do I go to the canteen, I go to the chemist, I go to that place. I meet. There was a neurology department on the. I meet. I make a lot of friends. Mm. So your world becomes an hospital. Mm. So that's how you know a lot of things, a lot of ingredients, a lot of nuances that you see in the hospital mm. has come from a lot of personal experiences. Yeah. You all must study. There is. If you start studying, 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 if you start Uh, it's 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 such a medical science a department of medical science which is completely um unanswered mm. even the doctors don't know what's happening there at this moment is she listening is she not listening mm. so a comatose is such a a state sometimes doctors tell it is a meditative state mm. they are the most absolutely conscious is on a highest level when a person is a comatose this is also a, a a a parameter there it's almost like a spiritual experience yes it's like a spiritual experience that that he's that the person is absolutely conscious mm-hmm. and of his awareness acha sure. maybe his physical things are not working mm-hmm. but in terms of brain it could be like that mm-hmm. so even they say we leave it to fate mm-hmm. so what do you mean by fate you leave it to whatever it's all trial and error method jo comatose mein chalta hai so that is how my interest got in this in this film also ki how to deal with 
uh, a coma and comatose. So that's how my subjects that I've been uh, with Juhi and with exploring was because of all lot of personal experiences. experiences okay. And uh. there are a lot of film students out here. One part of the film is script. Ji. Second part of the script is obviously the most important is the is the the casting part of it. Fifty percent or the sixty percent of your job is done if you have the 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 perfect cast of the film. Mm. If the face, if that face looks like Dolly, if that face looks like Dan, or the face looks like Shivli, mm. yeah, or Vidya as a mother, mother yes. your your job is more or less done. And then is like embellishing those and creating those characters to your parameters because I know the script mm. more than anybody else in the in, on the set mm. and then you create that mm. now the creation for example I'll give you one small example uh, I have done a lot of jugad in my films don't think that my films are expensive my films are very very cheap films <laughs> yeah which Bollywood can't even think of <laughs> like for example in uh, in in Vicky Donut there was a lavish marriage have you seen that there's a big huge marriage it's like what's our marriage now? So my uh, production guy comes with a huge budget. So I said, yeah, this is my film ka budget. You can take it from here. So then I said, what do we do? We are planning to shoot in July, August, September. So, uh, so my mind came to me one night, my mind came to me like, how do, how do we work it out? I said, we shift the shoot to November, December, Jan. October, November, Jan. Because the most important thing is that you have to do it. So I told the production guy that you go, जाके किसी शादी वाले के साथ किसी फैमिली को बोल जुआर करो हम आपका नाम दे देंगे ये कर देंगे वो कर देंगे एंड हम लोग आपके शादी में जैसे ही आपका शादी रात के दो बजे खत्म होगा हम लोग घुस जाएंगे आप हम जनरेटर लेके आ जाएंगे अब प्लेट वेट वैसे ही रख देना आप आप बाहर आ जाना हम साफ कर देंगे सब आई एम टेलिंग यू सो बाहर गेट में बाहर गेट में ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ रेस की तरह ऑल ड्रेस्ड टॉप लाइक है ना दीवार सब खड़े हैं कि जैसी कोनो अंदर जाऊँगा बिकॉज़ मुझे रात को दिखाना है एंड पांच बजे तक साढ़े पांच तक सनलाइट आ जाएगा सो फॉर्च्यूनेटली दैट शादी ही गोट ओवर बाय ट्वेल्थ थर्टी ओनली रैप्ड अप and we go in, we have cameras. I know you know because of my ad background, I know where to place cameras. I'm very quick at that. And and उनको सब ट्रेन किया किया हुआ था पहले से ही सब कुछ क्या करना है एवरीथिंग and I go there in a rapid speed of say six hours. I finish that entire the dance and dolly drinking and ye unka sab kuch khatam karke. We come out and one day and it, if I would have created that set according to Bollywood standards, I'm telling you, it would have budget of my film, of the entire film. So that's how uh, we uh, do the cinematic jugaads in the film and 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 yeah, <laughs> अच्छा थोड़ा आपसे जानना चाहूँगा क्योंकि ये जोड़ी जो आपकी रही है लेखिका के साथ जुई के साथ बड़ी प्रोडक्टिव प्रॉमिसिंग क्रेडिबल एक जोड़ी रही है और आप उन निर्देशकों में से हो कि जो अक्सर अपने राइटर का जिक्र करते हैं जो आम तौर से अनफॉर्चुनेटली इस फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में हम लोग देखते नहीं हैं यहाँ तक कि पोस्टर में ढूंढना पड़ता है कि भैया राइटर कौन है इसके अंदर Generally, it is a film by X, yeah, a X film, etc. As if this person has created everything. So, that teamwork that I have mentioned earlier, that collaborative sort of ethos that I have mentioned earlier, I would like to know about that because you are in a position today, Shujit, whether you like it or not, of being able to set certain standards. 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 वो उतने ही समय तक रहा और उतने ही साइज में आया था जितना आपका नाम था उसके अंदर और हम सब देख के वी वर ऑल वेरी हार्ट एंड दैट्स द वन थिंग दैट द एंटायर राइटिंग कम्युनिटी नोटिस देखा राइट लाइक द लास्ट दैट इज़ व्हाट अपील टू अस द मोस्ट यहाँ भी आप खुल के बात करें I want to understand the nature of the collaboration. Throw this is keeper Roshni Daliye. Idea kahan se aata hai? Pehla stage process ka kya hai? Okay, aur uske upar aap as a director kitna contribute karte ho? Aur dusri baat dekho ye ek kahunga chodi si nazuk si baat hai aur ye directors association hai to isle aur bhi dabaav dal ke kehna chahunga. Shujit, unfortunately ye hua hai na ki the director as the leader of the team 
उनका काम होता है कि हर डिपार्टमेंट से वो डील करते हैं चाहे प्रोडक्शन डिजाइन हो सिनेमाटोग्राफी हो एडिटिंग साउंड राइटिंग एक्टिंग सभी के साथ वो डील करते हैं तो इट इज़ द जॉब एज ए डिरेक्टर टू गिव दैट रिस्पॉन्स टू गिव दैट फीडबैक कभी कभी सजेशन के रूप में आ जाते हैं बट एक डिरेक्टोरियल हैसियत से वो दिए जाते हैं इसका ये मतलब नहीं है कि आप उसके को प्रोडक्शन डिजाइनर बन गए या को एडिटर बन गए या को राइटर बन गए लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली ये थोड़ा सा एक एक लहर कभी कभी चलती है हमारी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में एज द डायरेक्टर सर पर ये तो मैंने भी तो आइडियाज दिए थे पर अरे बहुत तो तेरा काम है एज ए डायरेक्टर यू आर सपोज टू बी डूइंग दैट यू नो आई मीन यू गाइड शाहरुख खान कि नहीं इधर का देखो मैं करके दिखा दूं इस तरीके से करो तो देखो तो इट डजंट मीन दैट यू बिकम को एक्टर जी इन दैट दैट इज हिज थिंग यू आर डूइंग अ डायरेक्टोरियल जॉब आई वांट सम योर आइडियोलॉजी आई वांट टू बी ब्रॉट आउट हियर अपार्ट फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस आई वांट दिस फॉर यू टू कमेंट ऑन बताइए जैसे आपने कहा ना कि सम ऑफ द राइटर्स जब अक्टूबर में जूही का नाम देखा तो थोड़े यू नो दे वर टेकन अबैक एंड शॉक्ड एंड दे वर वेरी हैप्पी Uh, even Juhi was shocked, mm-hmm. so she didn't expect that. You know, suddenly on a trailer, when I I showed the trailer, so her name cropped up there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I, 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 अशोक साहब की तरह होता तो आप लोगों को और भी एक्सॉर्ट करता जोर से तालियां दिस इज म्यूजिक टू अवर इयर्स बिकॉज इट इज अ स्टोरी टेलिंग एक्सपीरियंस इट इज द स्टोरी एंड द स्क्रीन प्ले द राइटिंग इज द स्पाइन ऑफ द फिल्म विदाउट द राइटिंग एंड द स्पाइन वॉट एवर द राइटर इमेजिन without those written words there's nothing it's zero you can have world's best actor you can have the best director but if you don't have a legitimate script to talk to your audience you have nothing so there is no debate on this isme koi sharmani ki baat nahi hai ye to koi and aapne jo conversation shuru kiya tha aapne kaha tha it's a collaborative art yeah it is collaborative art and on that collaborative art a director is as important and the writer is as important as the director yeah. and a writer's work is no less as she doesn't go or he doesn't go to the set that does not mean that that person is not making the film that person has already made the film exactly i'm sure yeah. <laughs> उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से ये लिखा था कि यू कैन मेक अ बैड फिल्म आउट ऑफ अ गुड स्क्रिप्ट हो सकता है कभी कभी या डायरेक्टर गलत हो गया सिनेमैटिक हो कास्टिंग वगैरह बहुत सारी चीज तो अच्छी स्क्रिप्ट को लेके भी आप बुरी फिल्म बना सकते हो बट यू कैन नेवर मेक अ गुड फिल्म आउट ऑफ अ बैड स्क्रिप्ट तो इसलिए फॉर अ गुड फिल्म यू एब्सोल्यूटली नीड अ गुड स्क्रिप्ट जो आप उसके प्रतीक हैं Yes, Please, so, uh, so as it is a collaborative art hai, uh, my my association with Juhi is all and and see obviously as a director you हम participate करते हैं as I said we discuss everything for example मैं जब pink कर रहा था I mean pink में I've been credited as a story writer there are many things I contributed just as a director but I was asked to by Ritesh and Anirudh ki please take the credit of story writers because you have come so but for example uh, in pink mm, there are many moments that were created mm. uh, by when we were writing the film mm. so similar juhi ke sath jab interactions hote hain uh, and writing jo process hota hai it's a it's a definitely very slow process to hum log pehle kya karte hain main aur juhi pehle bahut sara discussion karte hain khane pe ho gaya bai pe ho gaya driver aaya ki nahi aaya bachche school se kab aayenge sab kuch discussion ho jata hai फिल्म का भी डिस्कशन हो जाता है देन क्या करती है जुई देन सिस चीज सेस की आई स्विच ऑफ देन वो दो या ढाई महीने के लिए अपने आप को एकदम यू नो शी कट्स ऑफ फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड एंड शी स्टार्ट्स क्रिएटिंग व्हाट एवर वी डिस्कस एंड व्हाट्स ओवर देयर इन माइंड देन क्या होता है कि फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट आता है फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट आता है आई गो थ्रू द फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट एंड दैट्स व्हेन द प्रोसेस स्टार्ट्स बिकॉज़ आई हैव अ आई हैव समथिंग टू ऑन ऑन टू टॉक टू Then my also because I am not a writer, 
uh, I can only talk about a film, I can give suggestions, I can act, I can do many things, but I still can't write. Uh, I definitely need a writer. And then we started discussing, and then it goes, goes from draft one to two to three to four to, it carries on. There are many films we have done to 15, 16 drafts. Mm. There are many films which are done in four drafts or five drafts. So then is the polishing work goes, goes on. Then it's your inner, your own reflections, your own feelings, that, that's a process. So and I am, I am nobody to take that process out and put that, ki, okay, I have been part of that process, so I am also a writer. Mm. No, I am not. You, he is only writing. It's where discussions are going on. And it is my job as a director to give my vision to the writer. Yeah. If I give my vision to the writer, that doesn't mean that I become a writer. I certainly become a writer. Mm. Unless the writer and the director have agreed, okay, we will collaborate with each other yeah. and we will write together. Yeah. If the director is writing. Yes, yeah. if the director is writing. Case, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If there is a, the, otherwise... I think what they deserve, I have no harm in saying mm. that they deserve. And nowadays, for example, another credit which goes to um, our industry, which was earlier not there, is the casting directors. Mm. I think we must give credit to some of the finest casting directors at this moment we have in the, in the industry. And they are just doing some brilliant work. Mukesh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I and also I think Mukesh um, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jogi, Jogi, Jogi has been my with me on the on the casting. Uh, so this is the process, uh, and 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 me and and you know you have to have a writer which is like-minded, like mm. you, uh, because a writer is also putting your vision into the script that that you also want to make, and somewhere down there is a kind of a harmony, mm. and that harmony will only come when there is a like-mindedness. आपके thoughts, आपके philosophies, आपके politics, आपके जीवन को लेके जो सोच है, आपकी जो optimism है, आपके अंदर जो pessimism है, सब कुछ आर एक दूसरे के बीच में collaborative है कि नहीं, वो बहुत important होता है. Otherwise, you won't be able to satisfy yourself with those kind of scripts ever if that matching. That's what my feeling is. I mean, I am very comfortable with that kind of work, even with a cinematographer, even with an actor, whoever it is. I, I ask them to surrender. Even if it was Piku, I ask them, please surrender. Mm. Even if it's in October or this, I said, you surrender because you don't know this script. I know this script. Yes, you will understand this script from me. I have lived with the script for three years. Mm. You will live with the script for just two months or a month. Mm. The depth I know and the writer knows, mm. you don't know. Okay. And I made sure, I, I made sure uh, and I, it's my contract with the writers that you will have to be present on the set. Because if you are not present on the set, I may be wrong what the, vi I may debate with you on the set, mm. all this, but the vision with which you have written it, mm. if I am gone wrong somewhere, then you, can point. you can point me out and we can have an open debate there itself with the actor with everybody. <laughs> Quite a contrast because most directors do not want the writer on That's the set. That's fine. That's a process. Nah, nee, wo hai, wo bhi jayaz hai apne se, usko clearly unko lagta hai ki bhi, there is a certain control that they have to exercise. Particularly star cast film mein wagara hoti hai. To wo, if the actor is disagreeing with the right, uh, director and realizes ki bhi, a writer understands the character, right. to phir wo thoda sa ek triangular tension kabhi kabhi aa jata hai. Okay. Anyway, mere paas yakin maani hai. ढेर सारे सवाल हैं जो मैं जानना चाहूँगा पर्सनली भी और आप लोगों के लिए भी लेकिन क्योंकि समय की थोड़ी सी पाबंदी और आप लोगों को मौका देना जरूरी है तो इसके लिए आई वांट टू थ्रो इट ओपन फॉर द नेक्स्ट हाफ एन आवर ठीक है कीप योर क्वेश्चंस रेलेवेंट और जहाँ तक हो सके सवाल पूछेगा शुजित साहब से ओके okay? कॉमेंट्री अगर देना हो तो आप प्राइवेटली कुछ ब्लॉग भी लिख सकते हैं तो प्लीज आई वेलकम योर क्वेश्चन Sir, as a director, uh, how do you make your actors not act? Because most in your films, the, the actors actually are just very ordinary, very real. So how do you make them, how do you convince them not to act and just be at the moment and in the scene or at the pitch of the scene? Uh, have you ever been to a film set? No, never. Okay. So when you go to a film set, it's, it's, it's a fish market. It's no less than a fish market. It's the most chaotic place ever you will be when you enter a set. So the foremost thing is that what I do in my, on my, on my, on my set is, I don't let actor enter the set till that tamjam is going on, the lighting, the setting is going on. I keep a cut-off time, okay, are we done? So when they are done, so that an actor when he enters the set, he doesn't have to see hundred faces looking at them. 
when hundred faces are looking at them, they are anyway get so I don't know. They are preparing themselves, performance and conscious. First thing what I do is on my set. If you ask anybody from Mr. Bachchan to Deepika to even Varun or anybody, all the you will not find anyone. Like there, I my instructions are cameraman and the focus puller. So that's the thing. So first and foremost is you have to create an environment for the actor where he is not. Jhavo. बाकी चीजों से उसके ऊपर असर नहीं पड़ रहा है इज नो बडी टू लुक एट हिम ही इज एट होम से फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं पीकू के सेट पे जैसे ही सब निकल कोई नहीं होता था रूम के अंदर हाउस दैट यू सीन ओनली मिस्टर बच्चन दीपिका और मैं किसी कोने में बैठा होता था और जो ही किसी कोने में बैठे होता था और मेरा कैमरा मैन किसी कोने में होता था एंड दे कुड नॉट सी एनी वेर मैं उनको सुबह आता था नौ बजे जैसे ही आते थे वो लोग वैसे ही मैं उनको बोलता मैं उनको वहीं बोलता था ब्रेकफास्ट मैं लोग एंड सीन देता था मैं लोग यू वर्क इट आउट ही सेड व्हाट टू डू आई सेड यू वर्क इट आउट योरसेल्फ आई विल नॉट से एनीथिंग सो दीपिका विल वॉक टू दिस रूम से देन मिस्टर बच्चन बोला मैं ये हुए ले लूँ मैं नहा ले लीजिए मैं यहाँ पे मैं कैमरा में ना पागल होता था सर यहाँ से कहाँ कैमरा वहाँ से कैमरा कहाँ से करेंगे ये कहिए मैं जस्ट लेट दैम डू इट दीपिका बोलते मैं यहाँ कपड़ा यहाँ कर सकती हूँ मैं यहाँ आप कर सकते हैं द ओनली थिंग आई टोल्ड दैम कि आई आई यू आर Uh, you are a mother, you are a daughter, but you are a caretaker. So you can't sit idle. So my instruction only was that. And I gave, शाम के छः बजे तक सुबह नौ बजे से लेके first shift पे only वो घूमते रहे वहाँ पे घूमते रहे. And I just watch them and watch them and watch them and watch them. मैं बीच-बीच में correct कर देता था. ये मुझे मालूम है कहाँ पे correct करना है क्या करना है कहाँ पे. And I am also on the set on my script. I am a very good actor. <laughs> I act on my script. Only. Nobody else's script. I act and sometimes show them what is in my vision. उसके बाद मैं छोड़ देता हूँ. So what happened is ये जो actor को ये जो जगह मिला set के अंदर, ये जो ये खुले हैं अपने आप में, इनके जो अंदर का जो एकदम deep inside जो inhibition था, वो पूरा निकल जाता है. And that's how this effortless things comes out. Obviously इसके पीछे और भी काम होते हैं. इनके उनके hard disk में बहुत कुछ डालना पड़ता है. You have to keep talking. Like Irfan is something else. इरफान कह गया बेटर रहेगा और उसके कान में मैं ऐसा आप बोलते रहो मैं थक जाता था मेरे पास और कुछ है नहीं बोले नहीं आप बोलते रहो <laughs> दीपिका सर प्लीज मत बोलो अभी बहुत हो गया ऑन द अदर हैंड या मिस्टर बच्चा सुजीत यू आर नॉट कमिंग हेयर यू आर नॉट एक्टिंग ओके सो डिफरेंट एक्टर्स को डिफरेंट तरह से आपको डील करना पड़ता है बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज जब वो परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं जो कैमरा है अगर कैमरे के पीछे सौ लोग खड़े हुए हैं और उनको देख रहे हैं वो एक्टर फिर एक्टिंग नहीं कर पाते वहाँ पर यू हैव टू मेक श्योर यू गिव देम अ स्पेस एंड अ मिल यू वेर दे आर रियली कम्फर्ट फॉर एग्जांपल और एक चीज़ बताता हूँ मैंने उनको कहा था जैसे आप अपने घर पर बैठते हो ना अगर स्टूडेंट बैठते हो आपको इस चीज़ पकड़ना होता है ना आप कुछ देख के नहीं करते हो आप उठा लेते हो अपने आप बिकॉज यू आर सो यूज टू योर हाउस यू नो टेन स्टेप्स आई एम द टॉयलेट लाइट चला जाएगा ना आप चले जाओगे अपनी जगह पर घर पर तो सेट एक ऐसा जगह होता है जहाँ पे सेट की जो एक्लोमेटाइजेशन होती है वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होती है जिसको बोलते हैं दैट एक्लोमेटाइजेशन अगर एक्टर को हो गया परफॉर्मेंस अपने आप एफर्टलेस आ जाएगा हेलो सर तुमने सवाल पूछा था उससे कई गुना ज्यादा तुम्हारे को मिल गया है हेलो सर माय नेम इज गौतम सर मेरा आपसे पहला सवाल ये है कि लाइक यू आल्सो सेड कि जो ही मैम इज देयर इन द ऑन द साइट सो सर डू यू हैव डू यू फेस द सिचुएशन वेयर देयर इज अ जगलिंग बिटवीन द रिटर्न स्क्रिप्ट एंड द इमेज बिकॉज़ देन द स्क्रिप्ट हैज टू कम अप थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ ऑडियो एंड द विजुअल राइट सो देयर इज अ वेरी थिन लाइन यू नो and i don't know but there is a juggling in the mind of director between the narrative and the image that uh, the uh, the visual narrative part of it what you're asking me yeah. usme uh, there is a lot of vision which goes into it which i keep sharing that how i'm going to shoot this film right uh, wh- what is going to be the uh, how fluidity my camera that is obviously which i know i am going to prepare uh, and sometimes uh, the the writer who comes out there she collaborates with the director for the writing part i collaborate with the writer mm. but from for the vision of the film the way it's going to come out the performances how much and how much not to do there the writer collaborates with me but yes it's a very thin line i mean in some shot my writer can uh, like for example in sometimes uh, jhuki comes and tells me that this is completely wrong 
and sometimes I agree and sometimes I don't agree. And sometimes I, uh, when the character is saying something, I say, Kijvi, this line is uh, unnecessary. She sometimes disagrees, sometimes she agrees. So that's a matter of, uh, you know, uh, the, the process that you go through. Nothing is perfect because, you know, all the time it's a trial and error also going through. Because I am also making the film. I am also, it's not that I am some genius that, okay, I'll make the film. I am also exploring the film myself. Mm. I am also understanding that, okay, I am also understanding the film. Karte, 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 karte. It is not that I am a boss, I am a boss, I am a boss. I am constantly thinking, I am constantly, my mind is working how to make this film more believable and rich. And how do I engage my audience? Like for an October, how do I engage my audience without saying words, without silences? Like a lot of places, a lot of people came in, here backgrounds should be here backgrounds should be And I restrict, no, I will backgrounds not give you So you need, but still I have to convince myself why not a background score there? Why a uh, important dialogue is on behind the uh, character, you know, when you front, this is very important line. So all this is a, it's a process which we go through. I think we will all learn that way. Everyone has their own way. When you make a film, you will explore it. You will explore it. You will explore it. You will explore it. You will learn 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 it. You You will learn it. You will learn it. You will You will You and it must have been a matter of choice because casting is very important. If it is fit, it is not fit, it is not fit. In October, you took a absolutely A-lister, a Varun. Okay. Now, Varun is very different in October than he has been in any of the other films. Right. Right? Comedy and there is a certain kind of goofiness that he brings in. How difficult was it to break that and put him into the mold of the character? Because your things are always performances, which you are saying, character driven. Hai. Actor driven nahi uh, I mean, first, uh, I mean, let me clarify that I didn't cast Varun. Uh, how I'll tell you Varun. He was not supposed to be there in the film because I had planned this film with a new cast. Not sure. Fresh cast. Okay. And my auditions were on and everything also. I had fresh cast. So Varun has been, for last one year, has been asking me, I want to meet you. Not sure. And I mostly when I work, I go to Kolkata, I work and I play football there and I keep working there. <laughs> so he said, I want to meet you. So I was in a meeting. So one day I was a flight. He said, I want to come and meet. And, and at that time, I was hyper that we, I want Dan. I want Dan. We were auditioning. We got Shivli because that was, I had worked with her. So we had done the casting of her. And everybody else, only Dan was missing and from my... So Varun just called me and uska ghar Juhu mein hai. my office is in Juhu. I said, okay, drop in. Uh, no, Manuel, I have a flight to catch. Well, sir, I have just woken up. Should I come now? I said, yeah, the way you are, you come. And he just walked in. And he walked in. And obviously, I, his world is Mars. My world is somewhere else. So there is no match. <laughs> no, believe me, there is no match. Yeah, there is no sure. match. That, that's, that's a that fact. I mean, people, a lot of people didn't come to see the film because they thought, what is Shwetar Sarkar doing it with Varun? Or what is Varun doing in Shwetar Sarkar? <laughs> that was my question. A lot of people wrote on my face, what are you doing? So anyway, so he comes and sits like this in front of the sofa. And believe me, I, I, I told him, when I tricked him, to just have a Ajana, to just say, don't worry, I'll do. because I was in a hurry to go. And he came and sat there. And I was looking in, you know, in his eyes. He was talking, I want to work, ye, wo. Usko chai lake diya, usko aise paani diya, paani usne gira diya, chai gira diya usne. Huh? And pair utha ke battle. Wo photo is there, the first photo I clicked is there in the social media. If somebody has it, just go and just Google and see it. Because I was not meeting Varun, I was just seeing him as Dan. Because I was in mind of Dan children, I was not meeting or anybody. It doesn't matter because when I'm making a film, I'm into that. And I saw a kind of a spark of a clumsiness in him. And we were looking for a Dan who is clumsy. You know, lazy, you know, that's on the social media. I just told him, can I click a picture of yours? So I see when I click picture earlier. That was a picture earlier. And as soon as he left, I sent that picture to Jui and to Ronnie. Just check it out. This guy looks like Dan. 
It's like behaving like that. And that's how it's, it's a casting. So I, 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 I didn't... I did not tell him what the film is. I said, you want to work? I said, yes, you I didn't give him to read the script also. I gave him a parameter. I said, I said, what should I do now? I said, I'm going to teach you some meditation and you do meditation for the next Jurwa's shooting. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I mean, I'll tell you, I did that. I said, do you have a plant in your house? I said, yes, I have a plant in your house. I said, what do you do in the morning? I said, I'm going to phone in the morning. <laughs> so, I said, can you spare 10 minutes for this film? You do a lot of work. I said, yes, I'll spare 10 minutes. Man. So, I said, Jesse, you wake up, take your tea cup, phone on, mat karna, go in front of the plant and sit and watch the plant. So, two days later, I phone said, sir, I'm doing good, but sir, it's more than 10 minutes. <laughs> I said, I don't know what to do, I said, it's a workshop, it's a workshop. So you have to find different ways to, for different people to work on different, you know, things. So that's how I started. Then I showed him a lot of exercises and this, and so the process started. He didn't know also, till the end, what the script, you know, how they're going to be. I said, no, I don't do it. I gave other actors, all the, everybody else's script. Because I wanted to surprise him all the moment. So that, my first take, it's natural. If you see the first take in October that he walks in and watches the girl in the ICU, my bed is a lady here, and his face is completely like that, and it's like a surgery and everything. I didn't get to meet that girl with that girl. So I kept my cameras ready, all the ICUs were working, 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 पूरा पैरामीटर चल रहा था आईसीयू में एंड मैंने उसको वॉकी में बोला एक्शन करके आया वो फर्स्ट सीन ही शॉट नो नो हाँ अच्छा आई डिन लेट हिम सी द गर्ल गिरने के बाद हाँ ओके सो व्हाट यू सी इज अ जेन्युइन ओरिजिनल रिएक्शन ऑफ एक बार देखते ही उसको लगा नहीं था कि बनीदा क Looking at Shivli standing there in the ICU. So you actually you turn the actor into the character. That's what you do. So if you give him, a, if you give an environment and the milieu, they automatically they become. They come it's back. there in them. No, a lot of bigger ones they tend to bring in their persona into that with the anxiety also. Okay, no, no, audience is used to seeing me like that. My fans are used to seeing. Me. Yes. They, yeah. Sometimes but beyond the point they don't want to break but, the mold. But very brave of Varun that he surrendered. Yeah. He said, Ki, am I able to satisfy you or not? I said, yes. Mm. So, so he completely surrendered, so which is absolutely a brave of him. No, no, truly brave because he's on the rise right now. You know? yeah. So he would like to consolidate that, whereas here he's taking a huge risk, yeah. a passive role. Yeah. Kuch ko nahi, no romance, hai, no gana, hai, no fight, hai, no big drama. Hai. You are just the character. Yes. A character who's obsessed with just looking after this. Yes, okay, sorry, throw an open. Uh, teacher, hi, my name is Vatsal. Uh, I would like for you to throw some light on uh, how you do the staging of a scene and how you do your short breakdowns. All right. Uh, uh, two things that I do, uh, in, you can sit down, I'll tell you. Uh, staging of the uh, sequence, for example, on my films are uh, utterly simple. Very, 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 very simple. When I read the script, I read the particular scene, I close my eyes and I just visualize if in actual situation I am in, what all I am going, my eyes going to see. So I jot down those points, quick points. I'm going to see this, I'm going to see this, I'm going to see this, I'm going to see them. Uh, uh, this is not this not involving cinematographer at this moment. From which angle it look good, which angle it required. First, I want to see uh, the essence of the scene, what is the core, uh, moral of that particular scene, moral value of that particular scene, which is important, which are the lines important, or the reaction is important. I jot down those points. And then I perform at my house myself. I act and I do. Like a lot of things on of Anu Kapoor, this came from me. Like if Anu Kapoor did, so I one day I was talking to him, so I said, sir, I said, I said, I said, I said, so, whatever, no, it was like sperm, so it was like that. So, as I did, I realized I did something like this. And as soon as I did something like this, I gave it to him, so like that. So, I visualize, I act at my house or wherever office. 
I perform it myself. Move. And then I go to that particular location. And I, when I go to that location, I take actors with me. Take actors which are general dummy actors. And I start preparing with them. So when you put that dummy actor, a lot of your clarity is there on your head. How you can uh, this. But the final staging after I shoot happens on my edit table. You know, and the, that's, that's my most, uh, uh, you know, thrilling place, you know, department, you know, uh, editing. That's where actually I play my film. But one thing I surely do is uh, uh, when I'm staging a, a, a film, I don't always go with a conventional, okay, close shot, wide shot, over the shoulder, this, that. I don't go with any grammar. I don't go with any methods. I go what my inner vision says, my inner self says, okay, I want to see this now and I'll show you that. So that's what I go. <laughs> and also when you are making a film, go absolutely with your inner voice, deep inner voice and don't cheat your inner voice mm. and don't compromise with your inner voice. You may go wrong, that's fine, <coughs> but at some point you will be right. Well, uh, director's preparation is quite simple, very, very simple. The writing process is the director's preparation, actually. The day you decide that, okay, I want to make a film on this, uh, uh, the day, not you decide, the day you can see the light <coughs> that, no, this script is shaping up like a cinema of a two-hour narrative. Because a great idea can be for just a five-minute short film, right? Can I make a two-hour narrative? or not, because some great thoughts, great scripts can be finished in this one. You don't have to stretch it for that long. Now, you, for that narrative, uh, you go through that process. And that process comes with your experience, what kind of person you are, what kind of knowledge that you are, and how uncompromising you are. So this, these are the facts, that's my preparation. That no, I am not going to compromise with the conventions. If I have to, if somebody says no, uh, like I had to, for example, Pink, I went to two studios, three studios. I could not explain the script. They said it's a, like a script. Then I, I, I was adamant and I went to Ronnie. I said, I have to make this film. I will make this film myself at whatever set and done because this is very important film we should make. So that's how it is. That at after a point, you cannot convince anybody. So first and foremost is don't compromise with anyone and not to yourself. And that's your preparation. Hi Anjum sir, hey Suji sir. My name is Vikas Kanelwal. All your films are beautiful journeys. And when I October, dekhi, toh, I love that last scene where uh, Dan dreams of her, surely. It's often in real life. When someone dies, it seems that you have seen them once again. I was hoping somewhere in the last, that when he goes to his house, so his mother said that she finally, finally spoke and said, Dan, where are you? Did you have any alternate ending? Uh, no, 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 no. It was there. And also, uh, we had a lot of debate on that. In my second ke liye, jo usko hallucination. Hota hai. Me and Juhi debated a lot. We should keep it. But you know, I thought, no, we should keep it. But no, I don't have feeling. Hello. Huge fan, sir. You know that. I just want to know, as an actor, because you worked with the legendary Amitabh Bachchan sir and you made him oh, sorry Hindi mein bolti hu aapne unhe do characters ke mein you know dekha hai ek jo bahut zyada bolta hai aur ek jo bahut kam bolta hai aur eventually you know bol padta hai as an actor sir what can you tell us that you have learned from the great legend oh mr bachchan yes mr bachchan <laughs> so that we can learn from that uh, he's like a 14 year old kid, kid when you get a, he gets a script. It's like a toy. Unko kabhi bhi bula sakta hai, acha script ke saath. <laughs> Mr. Bachchan ko. Anyway, uh, um, I think what we have learned um, uh, from him as a legend is that he's 
he's crave for uh, characters he's crave to keep performing every night i'm a early i go to bed early 10 o'clock i only keep my phone switched on when i'm working with him because i know he's going to call at 1:30 in the night unko kuch idea aayega bolenge acha aisa karte hain for example we struggled with the final scene no means no for almost 7 months ki kaise usko pitch karna hai kaise pitch karna hai and he knew from my reaction that i am not convinced the way he is pitching because no means no is uh, uh, that speech can go to the gallery any moment yeah it's it's a speech you gallery pe kahi bhi khel sakte ho and my only thing was it is your because your wife has just passed away and no means no is not just a speech it is a very inner uh, philosophy so jab bhi main set jata tha scene ho raha hai dusra he is narrating me that's i think mai aise kar raha hu dekh mai aise karta hu dekh mai aise karta hu and i said no nah, sir so we should try this we can try this till the last day kal shoot hai hamara to uske baad i said ki whatever it is comes you know and he knew that i am not fully charged yeah. is scene ko karne ke liye and i was shooting that sequence with a lot of cameras and this and that so he uh, calls me and and he knew that the way hum log us din pack up ke baad depart hue the because kal main scene hai because that was the important scene he calls me around 1 o'clock in the night to juke jaga hua mera nahi main aap batai sir kya hai bolta hai hear me out yes so he narrates the entire speech on the phone he acts this is 1 o'clock in the night he acts mera bolta sir ek aur baar karenge aap he says 1 o'clock main bolta sir kya aap is speech ko pakad ke rakh sakte hain subah tak to kab karna hai shoot maine bola i am just calling the crew we'll call this aap speech ko pakad ke rakhiye bas I call my crew. It was a two o'clock shift. I said, "No, we have a seven o'clock shift." Wow. And I put everybody, whatever they are form in. Then I put my cameras. I said, and and I ask sir, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bachchan, not to come on the set. He was in the makeup and ready because he was in the mood. I said, "Ki I'll tell you on the walkie to come." He comes, sits, uh, uh, and the entire scene was one one particular. Fifteen minutes were done. Pura. So the uh, opposite, the opponent, uh, the lawyer, he gives a speech. He, she, he gives a speech. and after that he could not stop after that, as soon as he says i cut he stops there he he, he broke down mr bachan yeah. he crying he just went to the van for half an hour he didn't come out i went there he kept on crying and there was in that speech he felt so deep there so so these are the you know dedications that we learn from him that uh, like his style is very different from deepika's or irfan style Mr Bachchan is like very method very he will rehearse and rehearse and rehearse thak jaate the log and Irfan is only listening he is not rehearsing his every take is different <laughs> Irfan for example ek din Irfan ne thoda sa aise kiya tha usne kuch uske haath mein license tha ek mein ek dialogue mein diya ek mein nahi diya to Mr Bachchan is practice waise se acha Irfan tum last take mein diya nahi tha <laughs> तो इरफान ने बोला मैंने दिया नहीं था हाँ तो तुम दोगे नहीं दोगे इरफान बोलता सर मैं को जब करूंगा नहीं नहीं तुम नहीं दोगे तब चलेगा बट तुम दोगे नहीं दोगे एक चीज बता दो मुझे इज दैट इरफान बोलता सर दे दूंगा मैं अब उसने दिया नहीं फिर से बिकॉज इरफान यू नो वेन इज ऑन ट्रांस वेन ई परफॉर्म वो ट्रांस में चला जाता है वो किसी उसको कुछ ध्यान नहीं रहता है क्या करता है सो But Mr. Bachchan this time was prepared because वो discussion हो चुका था कि नहीं भी आएगा तो मैं क्या करूँगा आएगा भी तो क्या करूँगा so so now that's obviously his experience and he's worked with so many but his respect to his co-actor is uh, it's to learn uh, 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 कोई भी actor इरफान ने भी ये बात मतलब publicly बोला था कि अगर किसी को preparation सीखना है acting मतलब एक scene को पहले क्या prepare करता है they should do uh, intern with Mr. Bachchan the kind of preparation he does is i have not seen i rarely have seen an actor doing that thank you also it is ke wo kabhi set pe late nahi aate hain never and he never forgets a word of his line right. always always juhi is juhi or the ritesh was happiest because of comma or full stop question kuch nahi uska wahi meaning nikal ke bolenge he is right single word राइटर्स के लिए डिलाइट है ही गुड इवनिंग सुजीत जी हेलो सर सर अभी डिस्कशन में ये चल रहा था जैसे जूही जी एज ए राइटर एज ए राइटर आप आपस में कॉन्वर्सेशन करते हो राइट और रॉन्ग पे आते हो 
बट जब आप अकेले हो डायरेक्टर हो राइटर भी आप हो स्क्रीन पे भी आपने लिखा है तो वो कन्वर्सेशन राइटरों की किससे की जाए मेरे लिए मुश्किल है वो ना वोडी आलन को पूछिए ये बात <laughs> वोडी आलन खुद ही लिखते हैं खुद ही डायरेक्ट करते हैं बट मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कि माय uh, इंस्पिरेशन uh, uh, मेरा बाइबल हैज बीन सत्यजीत रे मैं अगर किसी चीज को मैं इंस्पायर होता हूँ और ओपनली बोलता हूँ मैं अगर मैं फिल्म में डालता हूँ मैं ओपनली मैम सत्यजीत रेप से इंस्पायर होकर करता हूँ बहुत सारे मोमेंट्स है मैं उसका मैं उनके फिल्म ऐसे अभी भी देखता हूँ बिकॉज आई थिंक दो फिल्म आर एज मॉडर्न एज दे वेर इन दाइनटीन फिफ्टीज और सिक्सटीज राइट पौथिर पाचाली आई डोंट नो मैं जब कॉलेज में देखा स्कूल में देखने गया था मैं सो गया था जब मैं कॉलेज में देखने गया स्कूल कॉलेज वाले लेके गए दिखाने तब भी सो गया था समझ में ही नहीं आया फिल्म पौथिर पाचाली जब समझ में आया मैं छोड़ नहीं पाया वो अभी भी मेरे साथ होता है वो फिल्म पौधर पाचाले और सब लोग मैं बोलता हूँ हुआ द फिल्म स्टूडेंट्स आर हुआ द फिल्म डायरेक्शन प्लीज वॉच हंड्रेड टाइम्स रे फिल्म एंड आई डोंट थिंक यू विल हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टू आस्क एनी डायरेक्टर कीप हिस्स फिल्म एज बाइबल नॉट एंड ऑब्वियसली हॉलीवुड I mean, you know, has uh, has given American films have taught you filmmaking. There is no question about it that you are not inspired by uh, American films and also European films. Uh, my another big uh, inspiration is Bunuel. I don't know how many of you heard of his name. Uh, you must watch uh, Bunuel films. अगर कभी मौका मिले, apart from Bergman or Tarkovsky, uh, um, you know, there are many, um, there are many Kurosawa also. So there are many of them, but do watch Bunuel if you can. अगर आपको मौका मिलता है कभी हाई माई नेम सिद्धार्थ आई बिलीव दिस इवनिंग कुड गो आउट इफ यू डोंट टॉक अबाउट मद्रास कैफे सो आई वुड लाइक टू नो योर जर्नी योर इंस्परेशन योर द हर्डल्स द चैलेंजेस देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक पोलिटिकल एजेंडा वॉज देयर सम कॉन्स्पिरेसी थ्री वॉट आर द रिसर्च यू हैव डन डाउन द लाइन थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग मी आई थिंक वन ऑफ द इट्स वन ऑफ द फिल्म दैट इज बीन आई केम it's been there with me for almost 12 years because i have lived in the era where the the three nations uh, sri lanka uh, uh, india uh, where, um, um, and also uh, no three nations means three uh, you know uh, tamil nadu sri lanka and india delhi were dealing with it uh, i don't know how many of you know about the the tamil uh, you know revolutionaries uh, the, the ltte and the, the the politics that went on and this complete region was in a terror and destroyed at that time what was happening and indian peacekeeping forces went there so i uh, 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 did a lot of research and there is jain commission report uh, uh, there is many reports which are out there in that film apart from john abraham everything is uh, well researched and true into the character only john abraham's character was fictitious uh, the raw but the 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 work that raw did was also there in that, in that film it was very very difficult to create i have not seen a civil war myself a civil war create karna is bahut bahut difficult hota hai uh, and also aise politics ke edge mein jahan tum sides nahi lete ho aur jahan aapke ek prime minister ki ex prime minister ka assassination ho jata hai it's very very you have to be very uh, politically aware of what's going on around the world and what effect this region small region of sri lanka and uh, tamil nadu had in around the world uh, so it was very very difficult we created the entire uh, jaffna in kerala uh, and the characters what you see are more or less are inspired from real life uh, uh, characters well madras cafe is also let me tell you is a very cheap film sabko lagta tha bahut bada film hai maine bahut is film mein bahut soldiers dekha hoga aapne bahut you know the aircraft and all let me tell you mere paas 25 soldiers the उसी से पूरा फिल्म बनाया मैंने दो गाड़ी बनाई इट एंड रेस्ट ऑल दिस फिल्म इज कंप्लीट जुगाड़ इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स मेकिंग गुड इवनिंग सर माय नेम इज तेजल भट माय क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज फॉर द फिल्म अक्टूबर um i was wondering what your experience was working with banita sandhu cuz she's from the uk right and i saw one of her interviews she did there and how her experience was with you and how you guided her to a climate hazard to the indian culture and indian filmmaking so could you just expand on that uh, i met banita in uh, around uh, 
2016 before uh, Pink release and I was doing a commercial with her and I just saw her and immediately I called, by the time we had created the character Shivli and I called uh, Juhi that I have a Shivli, I don't think we have to look for Shivli. I just took her picture, um, I clicked her picture, she was here, she did one commercial with me and uh, her role was very very tough, I, I, I thought I will cast somebody fresh because I won't have that much of patience to explain uh, um, uh, some actress to get okay, this way. Because see, they'll ask how much role I'm lying on the bed only all the time. So all those explanations I didn't want it to get into. I thought, let me cast somebody fresh and get out of it and at least concentrate on the role. Let me tell you, if you ever try, when she was lying on the coma bed and when she opens her eyes, uh, so the neurological surgeons, they do, this is an act of taking the eyes left and eyes right. Kabi, try it yourself. You'll never be able to do it. It'll shift. It'll shift. But that smooth moment of yes and no and interacting what she's feeling inside, I think is the most difficult. So what I taught her, what the experience was, uh, we did some uh, meditation exercises. I took some Raja Yoga yeah, from Brahma Kumaris. I took those exercises, those Raja Yoga that they do, and I gave those exercises to her to practice I told him then Brahma Kumaris, they practice Raja Yoga like this. So she practiced those Raja Yoga and what you are thinking inside, it should come, you know, you should feel. And she really worked hard. If you see, she's gone thin. She, she never used to eat. One day I figured out she fainted almost on the bed. So the makeup person told me she's not eating. I said, why she's not eating? She said, no, because you have asked her to be, you know, very frail and fragile. I said, that doesn't mean that she doesn't eat. I said, you know, please eat. But she took it on herself like that. And, and if you see in the film, as soon as she opens her eyes, you don't look at anywhere. You only look at her. You, entire uh, concentration of the film goes just, just onto those two, door, two eyes and what's going on in her head. So that's many things to talk about, I think, some other time. But you can hear a lot of things on the social media I've spoken about her. But she was absolutely a privilege to work with. Uh, Good evening, sir. Oh, yes. Sir. When will you see a film on football from you, sir? <laughs> Soon. I mean, I have not got a script yet. I'll, I'll, I thought. I was planning on doing a 1911 when there's a football match they played, but the script is not ready. Whenever this, when I'm, which film I'm doing, you'll know. Uh, uh, my immediate next, obviously, I'm working on is Udham Singh. Um, but uh, football film, yes, of course. Namaste sir, Namaste. so I want to ask you, how do you pick yourself up after a failed film? Um, I picked, um, <laughs> so Yahan didn't work. So it didn't work, um, now it's a very difficult question to answer <laughs> because what is fail, I don't know. Because first two films have failed. When I make the film and I'm able to make at, on, on my terms, I think the film is success. I have made the film on my terms. I think you are uh, referring a failed attempt is the box office collection possible. Mm. Uh, if you start bothering about box office collection, you will never be able to make a film. Let me tell you very clearly. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are a film student, just forget about it. Make your film, move on to the next film. Don't worry about the box office. You made your film, you made your heart out, you gave your heart out, move on. But if you are making for a box office film, then it's a different point altogether. I don't make film for box offices at all. I make film, yes, it is an expensive art. You have to be clever enough, sharp enough, and make sure that your production budgets are on an Excel sheet where people may come with these big Excel sheets. That your Excel sheet, you know that this much recovery of my film is there and I will somehow manage this recovery in this life or the next life, wherever. But you will manage recovery there. <laughs> so that much should be your uh, parameters. It is an expensive art. But, for example, my first two films didn't work at all. My first film didn't release because it released very half-baked because on the 26th of July the flood came and that day it's released. So the, it completely washed out. My second film never saw the light of the day. So the, with these two films I went on and I made Vicky Donor. And when I made Vicky Donor, let me tell you, I was very, very sure that audience is not going to come because they'll think that this film is, what rubbish is this? Uh, because it's a film on sperm donation. I never expected that film to do this well. I thought some youngsters may like it, but rather, because I thought it may be repulsive. 
mm. for a lot of people. I actually I thought like that. When I was making uh, Piku, a lot of people even lost told me that you made a Bengali film, nobody will watch it. I told them no, it's not a Bengali film. वो तो नहीं Bengali भी है ऊपर से आप हर सीन में वही बात कर रहे हो यार हर सीन में यार पॉटी की बात कर रहे हो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की बात कर रहे हो मैंने बोला यार अभी आप हम जिंदगी में ये करते ही हैं घर पे सारा दिन सो क्या करते हैं हम लोग घर पे यही करते हैं यार when my daughter was there and they are growing up in the, uh, when you grow up and you have kids every day hua ki nahi roz puchte hain bachche ko puchna padta hai acha abhi chale jao nahi hua to baad mein chale jana chalo so it's like that so but you know how can you shy away from that so what is a failed film it's very difficult to explain if you make a film on your own terms you please move on because a failed film is not a failed film it makes you more stronger mm. i uh, i think uh, yeah we have I don't think so. I mean, I, 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 I don't think we make films because it's an art form. I mean, how can I value an art form by just doing that he will work with me or she will work with me or not? Because it is an attempt. Then that becomes an opportunist, right? Thank you. Thank you very much, My friends. Uh, before we come to end of this uh, master class, uh, I would like to thank uh, Bollywood Hangama Anupam Kher's actor prepares. Bright and FTI Film and Television Institute of Pune. On behalf of Iftira, we have amongst us. We had called him on the stage before we started our program. There is a director amongst us who has made legendary films, and those films uh, definitely did very well. And those films were subject-wise before time. He made films like uh, Basera, Dusra Admi. which was super duper hit films and it it was they were films of that time where people really applauded that so thank you so much i request uh, ramesh ji to come on the stage because we have Later. to present some awards to uh, anjum ji and shujit on behalf of iftira i must say thank you so much to everybody for being patient here thank you so much so i just said I must say a big, big thank you, and I thank you for being here. I must say thank you to you, sir. Thank you for moderating this. It's a pleasure. Anjum, uh, Anjum, Anjum, and I want to ask a question: How, you know, how close a writer is to a director? You see, both of them are black colored. Today, this can't be a big proof. Anyway, I will request Ramesh ji to present a poster which we have designed for uh, Anjum uh, to be presented to him, and the trophy also. Please. This is a poster on behalf of Mr. Chandu. Poster to um, our dear friend, the master director today, Shujit Sarkar, on behalf of Mr. Da. Shujit Sarkar, the trophy. We are. Uh, Very, very, very thankful to Shujit Chanjum for being a part of us, for being a part of the family, and what a masterclass today! It's, it's unbelievable the kind of experience you shared, uh, Shujit, with us today. I think all actors fraternity here, the directors fraternity here, the cameramen, the editors, all of our writers who are sitting here today, it's been a great experience to us, a great learning. What a great masterclass! Thank you very much, and all the best to Shujit Sarkar. Thank you. Thank you very much.